Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can create an upgrading system for your game made in GDevelop 5. So the game we'll be adding this upgrading system to is a tower defense game. So let's preview this. So in this scene right now, we have this tower which shoots rockets towards this angle right here. And at the top right corner, we have the currency, which is the amount you have. Upgrade this, and this is what you use to upgrade. You use this to upgrade, and use this to downgrade. Okay, so if I click on the upgrade, as you can see, I lose um, $10 right there. And this has been upgraded. So there we go. Once again, we lose um, another $10. And this has also been upgraded, and you can keep doing this all the way to this. This is the maximum upgrade for this um, tower. So that's what we're doing in this tutorial. So let's begin. Okay, so before we begin, I'll give you a brief explanation of what we have in the scene right now. So, you know, objects, we, the first object is the tile, which all this um, object around. And we have this, the next object, which is the platform. This is the platform right here. This uh, um, behind, that's the platform. And the next, we have the shooter, which is this object I selected. This is our shooter. This is what we would be upgrading. And if we open up our shooter, you can see all the animations we have for our shooter. We have this animation 1, animation 2, animation 3, and um, 3, sorry, this is animation 3, and this is animation 4. The animation starts from um, 0, which is this animation right here. Okay, so that's what we have in this shooter object. And in our bullet object, our bullet, right here, this is the object which would um, shoot directly out of the shooter object. There we go and we have these two buttons downgrade button and the upgrade button which is this button and the text currency which is this object now in our events we already have some pre-events which handle some basic mechanisms in the game right now like um in our events right here we have an event which shoots a bullet now this bullet makes use of a fire bullet behavior which i installed and you can find that in the project manager functions and behaviors this is the behavior right here and back into our events so this changes the angle of the bullet to 360 so it faces um, upwards and this resets the time of shoot. Now what this does is that once it's created on one second it shoots a bullet so there you go. And this makes sure that the Z order of the bullet is lower than the Z order of our shooter here. Okay so for this at the beginning uh, let's add a condition where at the beginning of the scene here we go. Um, we need to create a scene variable to hold the amount of money we have. So add an action. Let's get um, scene variable value for scene variable. The variable name we'll call this money, and the sign will set this to 100. This would serve us 100 dollars, just like we have in the um, project I previewed earlier. Okay, so now let's add an action to display the variable money. Um, add a new event. Add an action, and we select our text currency. Modify the text and we'll set this to um, I'll add a dollar sign first so dollar and plus and um, variable variable string the name of our variable which is money okay so this should display the money variable okay and preview this I'll go to my preview and here we have this displayed as my um, hundred dollars there we go now we need to make use of this upgrade button. We want when um, clicking on the upgrade button, it upgrades this shooter right here. So to do that, let's close this. Um, add a new event. Add a condition. Once um, let's select upgrade. Let's start with the upgrade actually. Once the cursor touch, here we go, is on this object, and add an action, and the mouse button is released. Yeah, I'm sorry, left mouse button is released. Okay. We want to change the animation of the shooter, so add an action and um, here we go, shooter and animation, change the animation, set to, in this case, we'll add one to the animation. Okay, so once it's clicked, we add one. You can also add a trigger once to ensure this um, only occurs once, so trigger once and there we go. And also we need to subtract from our variable money, so add an action and let's get a variable. Um, sorry scene variable it's a scene variable so value of a scene variable um variable select the name of the variable money and sign um subtract okay i'll just set this to subtract 10 from it 
Okay, so that's for the upgrade. Now for the downgrade, let's add a new event and uh, downgrade. Select the object, downgrade, and once the touch is on this object, touch. There we go, cursor touch, and mouse button is released. Mouse button released, and the left mouse button is released. Let's add a trigger once also, trigger once. Wow, true. Okay, and then add, um, let's select shooter and animation change the animation in this case now we want to subtract um one from the animation so it kind of downgrades it to a previous version so okay also give the player back his money once he downgrades so add an action and scene variable value for scene variable variable name is money and the sign would be set to we'll add um 10 to it okay Okay, so with that done, we can now preview this. So we're in our new scene and preview. So open up the projects. Here we go. And so I can now upgrade this. Okay, something's wrong with our um, currency. Let's fix this. I'm um, back into our events. Yeah, this is the problem here. We need to set this. I'm um, sorry. We need to subtract 10 from it and not set the value to minus 10. Okay, so once again, here we would add 10 to it. There we go. So preview this again. And here we go. So that's it. That's um, how to create an upgrading system in Jitvalp 5. I'll leave a link in the description to download the project folder. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.